So today, we're going to take a review on Gearston Marshall and Mark, Mark Sondheimer for the 2023 main line for Cars on the Road. And this is my least favorite two-pack. Because you have another Gearston Marshall. And plus, I'm not a big fan of Mark Sondheimer because he's not that metallic. Although, it'd be cool to be metallic, but his artwork looks cool. They're both of their artworks, speaking of Garrison, here's his 2024 single release. For a 2024 main line. I am not surprised because I Garrison Marshall is quite a big peg warmer. Along with voice, that's level sells very, very good. Cars on the Road logo. Cave Car Lightning McQueen. Along with Pit Stop Asaurus. New York and Sarah Cox. Road Trip Mayor and Road Trip McQueen. Bella and Deputy Mayor McQueen. The good news is, I've been seeing on Facebook posts for the Cars community. Like, I've seen people found, Ms. found Bella at a Target in Missouri, which is pretty, pretty cool. So. That is my last two pack I need to review. Look, man, in Thailand. Without further ado, let's open them up. Here's Gears the Marshall and Mark Sign Time out of the package. They do look nice, and we're doing Gears the Marshall because he was first released before Mark Sign Timer. Screen shower here appeared. Background character in the episode Saw Fever for Cars on the Road. One of those racers. I really love the Saw Fever episode because you get a lot of interesting background characters. So let's compare him to his Thailand variant and nothing even has changed. The left is the two pack version, the right is the single version. Nothing even changed. Same date stamp, quite surprising, so nothing new. I know this was quick, and there's a screenshot of where Mark Saw Timer appeared in the episode Saw Fever. Just like when Gusick Marshall appeared, let's review him. Here's Mark Sondheimer, looks pretty happy, and I'll be showing you my custom that I made earlier this year. 13 week of 2023, all blue. Very, very bland car in my opinion because no other details. One of my least favorites, except for the piston. The piston looks cool, just like Rebo and Peggy Liner has. Which is very interesting. Green eyes. Very enthusiastic. No parachute bag. No number. It's, she has such a very unique car. Which is very, very cool. Let's compare it to... I used to call this car Alice, but... When Mattel named him Mark, I named him Mark, and the baby blue on the head looks very, very similar. This one has a parachute bag. This one does not. No piston. This one has sand all over, while this one does not. This is an extra that's jamming custom. Now let's do the mini racer. Comparison with the mini racer. Just had sand and the parachute, just like my custom. No piston. Let's 
compare it to Dots Jamming. Well, I do prefer Dots because I love her shiny, metallic, grayish. And look at her details, which I prefer Dots over Mark, in my opinion. So, which one is better, Dots Jamming or Mark Sondheimer? I have to go with dots because of a shiny gray, but what is yours? And that'll do it for this review today. I know this was a short review, but hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a nice Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time, and goodbye.